it's a, it's a huge privilege for me to invite uh, Professor Bo Peng uh, for his pre presentation. Uh, Pro Professor Peng is a, is a world leading radio astronomer, but uh, he also has a real historic association with the SKA project dating back as far as the, the early 90s. Um, most recently, um, Professor Peng has been uh, one of the driving forces uh, behind the, the, the iconic FAST telescope on which he will speak to us now. Uh, Professor Peng, over to you. Okay, uh, good, good, good afternoon. Uh, uh, my name is Bob I'm going to talk about uh, one of the SK pathfinders. Uh, the landmark dish uh, fast and uh, its impact on science education and uh, uh, new industry, uh, so-called uh, astro tourism. Tourism. So I will. Uh, my presentation includes three parts, uh, uh, including the fast concept, the construction, and uh, also its impact. So what is a FAST? Uh, FAST stands for a 500 meter spherical uh, radio telescope. Uh, it has three outstanding features. Uh, select uh, cluster depressions as uh, the telescope site and uh, invent two te uh, innovative technologies. The huge active reflector and uh, a cable suspension robot. So the first actually paves a new way to construct large dishes between a fully steerable uh, telescope like uh, uh, Eiffelsburg 100 meter and uh, the uh, fixed one, uh, a receivable 300 meter telescope. So the first uh, SK site survey was actually conducted uh, in 1994 in Guizhou province, China and uh, continued to 2005 when we worked with we worked with international radio quiet uh, radio frequency interference uh, calibration group and uh, uh, then a radio quiet zoom uh, was proposed at the first site for protection uh, at the minister level the first foundation was laid in, uh, in December uh, 2008 by Vice President, Vice President uh, of CS and uh, the Governor of Guizhou. Uh, one can see from the original site on right top photo, uh, actually there were 12 families living inside the caste depression you can see there. And uh, we had to first destroy uh, the natural green at the site uh, in 2011 before we rebuilt uh, the scientific beauty in uh, by 2016. And uh, compared to uh, Arecibo, uh, the first can observe the universe two times deeper and wider uh, that are visible and uh, the first already discovered uh, more than 220 new pulsars in three years. Uh, therefore, it has the potential to double the current number of pulsars. The first has become a world new focus to attract VIPs, very important persons, including national leaders, and the, the uh, ambassadors to, to see and uh, visit. Uh, as you know, Guizhou uh, is one of the uh, poorest uh, province in China with the largest single dish fast. Astronomy education in Guizhou province has been developed by the National Astronomical Observatory of China from zero such as to run summer school of uh, something like 100 participants every year, co-train uh, graduate students of more than 30 already, uh, can teach astronomy courses, which is knowledgeable to the primary 
and the middle schools uh, of 80s, uh, 80 schools, uh, we set up uh, uh, already astronomy de department in three local universities and uh, apply a National Science Foundation uh, funding uh, of more than 5 million uh, Chinese yuan already. So the, to help uh, develop local economics, uh, the first team worked closely with local governments, co-designed and helped to build up a new attraction site, namely Astronomy Town, which is just outside the core region of the Radio Quad Zone, with uh, five kilometers away from the Big Dish. The central Astronomy Town was ever a poor village, uh, now has two grand hotels to accommodate tourists and uh, international and uh, national conferences. There is a planetarium and a visitor center where tourists can have drinks and food, especially to deposit all personal electronics before passing through a security check and then getting onto a special designed shuttle bus to, to see the uh, uh, big dish fast. As one of the mountain, uh, mountainous peaks surrounding the dish, there is a sightseeing platform, uh, uh, you can see uh, established. All tourists will be transferred by and dropped off at, uh, at the, from the dedicated shuttle bus. And then have a double security check for electronics. I can roughly estimate that the building platform receives about 250,000 tourists annually. This created a new industry to help local economy. We call it astro tourism. So there are about uh, 1,400 families uh, of uh, 6,000 people removed from the core area of a radio quiet zone to have a better living conditions. As an example, uh, I show at the top two photos, 12, 12 families at the first site moved to new houses there, uh, the government provided so that they can have better life. The bottom photo showed the conference held in Xinchen Grand Hotel, which offers uh, about 100 jobs for local residents to alleviate poverty in such a remote area. I should point out that there were no hotels, no restaurants at all when I came to look for SK sites uh, about 20 years ago. Today, there are more than 100 hotels and the restaurants raised up, created some uh, thousands, uh, some 10,000 new jobs. Uh, again, it contributed largely to the local economy. So in summary, the uh, first project was rooted in SK globally uh, cooperation. It becomes a world-class world radio instrument Establish the scientific beauty to, pro to produce excellent science in big data. Finally, I would share a word from uh, Professor Golden, who initiated uh, a receivable telescope and uh, uh, fast, fast share the same experience. We were young enough that we didn't know we, we couldn't do it. If you dream, have big dreams, and have talented supporters to help you. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Peng, for that most inspiring presentation and, and ending also on that inspirational note. Indeed, the SKA is also about dreaming, but very much also about achieving those dreams. And, and thank you for introducing the, the dimension of astro-tourism 
which I think is a concrete example of how large scale facilities could be harnessed uh, for economic uh, development.